good morning all of you welcome back to maths online class today we are discussing our second you our second section of the maths test and the fifth unit that is drawing shapes we are going to discuss the fifth unit drawing shapes you are familiar about different shapes and uh, you can see any uh, different shapes in our surroundings that are related to mathematics so we can start to study drawing shapes drawing shapes here you have a picture of um, uh, what is uh, the picture shows of an art form this is an art form you are familiar about kathagali in the malayalam class and this is not kathagali what is the picture shows what is this picture shows what is the art form of this picture this is called a theyam this is called a theyam do you know what this is called this is called theyam do you see any geometrical shapes you are familiar with we can see different mathematical shapes in this figure geometrical shapes circle square triangle etc etc then color all right triangles as red you can see triangles here and here and here and here therefore put red color in the triangles and color the circles and rectangles as you like you can uh, color the circles and rectangles as you like that means the color which you like to make a pretty picture then the picture becomes very pretty so first put the red color in triangles and uh, the other color you like is in circles and uh, squares okay colored different shapes how do you actually draw them you simply color the picture okay you simply color the picture that is the um, by that way you can draw the shapes then what are things can you do can we use to draw circles we use coins then bangles then mouth glass mouth portion of the glass then cap of the lid cap of a cap of a bottle then plate etc what are the things we use to draw circles coins bangles glass top of the glass cap of a bottle and a plate etc see here we can see uh, we, uh, we can see a square rectangle and uh, so many circles small circles are inside the rectangles like this inside this circle draw small circles inside the large circle and count how many circles can you draw then write the number of the circles in this box then the next question is how many circles did your friend draw how you how you can see that your friend is no school so you have to draw another circle another large circle in your notebook using a glass or a plate or etc or a bangle etc then draw small circles inside that circle and count that circle small circles and write in this box then in which circle you can draw more circles and how many of them are right in these two two boxes first draw small circles inside this circle given and count the small circle number of small circles and write in the box then you draw a large circle in the in your notebook using a bangle or a plate etc then draw small circles inside that circle and then count and write the number this here in this then 
which is have more write this how many more that is, that is the difference of the number of circles that is right in the this column then inside the circle using a coin draw a circle in the middle of the circle here you can draw a circle using a coin Sim here i draw you see without using coin i draw a circle without using coin but you draw a circle inside the circle using a coin and in this rectangle also you can draw a circle using a coin then in your notebook write a circle is perfectly round a circle is perfectly round or the round shape of the figure is called a circle a round shape of the fig of a figure is called a circle then rectangles and rectangles in each figure draw a line to make two rectangles here we draw this line then we can we have two rectangles here we draw a line then there are two rectangles okay a line to make a rectangle and a triangle here we draw this way we get a triangle and a rectangle here we draw a line like this we get a triangle and a rectangle here we have to draw this then there is a triangle and a rectangle draw two lines to make rectangles here one line is like this and the other line is like this there are rectangles then here we draw like this and like this here are three rectangles three rectangles one two and three here one two and three here three here three. next which is a rectangle among the two figures which is rectangle this is a rectangle this is not a rectangle why here four sides four corners opposite sides equal other sides then perpendicular other sides perpendicular or straight perpendicular or straight what i found one line must be straight up from nearby lines then four sides four corners opposite sides are equal these are the speciality of a rectangle then find and color anu has drawn several figures which of them are rectangles one is rectangle and the three is rectangle the other figures are not rectangles then what i found it has four sides it has four corners opposite sides are equal and the one line must be straight up nearby lines okay you write this also in your notebook 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 activity side and corner anju and her friends are making greeting cards for the teachers day then how do you cut a thick sheet of paper to make rectangle a greeting card here look here this is an a4 size paper here this side has 20 cm and this side is 32 cm one way of folding this is fold like this this corner adjust this corners and a fold it this way if we fold like this then this length is 20 cm and this length is also 20 cm but this is 30 cm 32 cm in total therefore if we fold it in equal parts this is 16 cm and this is 16 cm
then this is the shape of a rectangle here the opposite sides are 20 cm each and this opposite sides are 16 cm each okay or if we draw if we fold this in this way in this way then what's the difference if we fold this 20 m into two equal parts therefore the this side is 10 cm half of 20 cm this is also 10 cm this length is no change that is 32 cm here also 32 cm here then this is the shape of a rectangle the these two opposite sides are 32 cm and these two opposite sides are 10 cm in each and the thus adjacent sides are straight to each other four corners four sides and all the specialities of rectangles are verified here so you must take a sheet of paper a four size paper and fold the paper first measure the sides of the paper length that is the length so first measure the sides of uh, length of the each lace side of the paper and then fold in any two shapes any two type fold this into um corner to corner in two ways then length of four sides of a card main then what are the lengths here in the lengths two measurements are same and the other two measurements are also same then you take another sheet of paper of different length and then fold and write the centimeters of the other shapes also in the in the in this table you take another sheet of paper of another length and bread another lengths and then fold it as you like but it has the shape of it has the shaft folding it has it must have the shape of a rectangle then measure the sides of four side the measure, uh, then take the measurements of four sides and write in this table then which of them have the shapes of the rectangle or not if the sides have two sides are same size and the two lengths if two lengths are same and the other two lengths are same then that is the side of the rectangle then we can confirm that is the side of the rectangle if it is a rectangle then the opposite sides are the same length and the adjacent side are straight to each other that shape has four sides and four corners so for first fold a uh, first take a a uh, 4 size paper and a 4 size paper and fold it as you like and that has that must have the shape of a rectangle and then measure the distance of four sides and write here then take another sheet of papers and then fold and take the measurements of four sides and write it in the table and find which of them are rectangles and not Okay